Well, we have what's surely going to be a thrilling game in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The anticipation is palpable. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you for all the action on EA TV. Ideal weather conditions for football here in West London. We're at Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Chelsea up against Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, this is looking promising. Well, there's the pullback. And well, the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do. Corner awarded to Arsenal. Keen to take it short here. Great defending. Corner once more. Over it comes. Struggling to get it away. Martinelli. Can he finish? Nicely saved. Well, Arsenal have started this game really well and look a threat every time they go for Well, at first glance, you would think a strong possibility of a red card. Let's see. Well, we've barely got started and he's off, Stuart. Well, it doesn't matter how early it is. It's a reckless challenge and he has to go for that. And a substitution in the offing. Gallagher. Well, he's beaten his opponent. Can he finish? Well, we always try to be fair about it, but that really should have been 1-0 early on here. Well, what a chance. That would have been a great start for them. Well, it's a team full of stars, and you never quite know who is going to pop up and shine. Perhaps, Stuart, it'll be Raheem Sterling today. Well, Derek, we know he's got great pace, whether he's running with the ball or running in behind defenders. And that's what makes him such a threat on the counter-attack. And I'm sure that's going to be the tactics today from his team. Gallagher. And a tidy challenge. Beautifully weighted ball. Martinelli. Havertz. Havertz! There it is! Down to ten men, but don't write them off just yet. The opening goal, 1-0. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. Well, he has to come up with a game plan. His side are struggling now. So Chelsea get things going again. How will they reply to that setback? Jackson on the ball. Arsenal's free kick here.
William Saliba. On to Jorginho. Alexander Zinchenko. He has teammates around him. Determined defending. Moises Caicedo. Enzo Fernandez. This looks promising. Who can he pick out? A Chelsea corner. They know they've got to make one of them count. Well, can they draw level here? The crowd certainly thinks so. Elects to go short. The corner kicks keep on coming. Playing it in. And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. Kai Havertz. Chelsea recovering possession well. Caicedo. We're getting close to the half-time interval and Chelsea behind, albeit narrowly. Stuart, your assessment of their first half showing? Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attacking third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around. Going well. A chance to whip it in. He cuts it back. Some of the fans are screaming, have a go. It's gone in, would you believe? And that is going to be classified as an own goal. Well, as you can see, it came off him last. And as a result, it will be an own goal. So unfortunate. A level contest, 1-1. William Saliba. Ben White. It's with Erdogan. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. Can he finish? No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Caicedo. Enzo Fernandez. The electronic board lets the fans know. Three minutes of stoppage time. Leading it through. It's always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Well, that's a fine-looking pass. Could go ahead. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Now sending it in. And ably dealt with. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. What a lot to like about Kai Havertz and what he put into the first half. What have you made of his performance so far? Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes.
Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Now, who can he play it to? Sterling. And space to cross it. Can he put them in front? Determined defending. The well, danger is still there. Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty. This to put them in front. And slots it home. Well, his heart might have been fluttering, but he didn't show it. A goal from the spot. Well, they love him and he loves them. It's great scenes here. So here we can see it again, and he's done well to read the intentions, but just can't get a touch of it as it sails over him. So close to being a fantastic stop. So the ball is running again. 2-1 the scoreline. Jorginho. And Havertz. Well, it could be on for him here. Chance maybe. And holding on to it at the second time of asking. Malo Gusto. Jorginho. A foul, but no whistle. Instead, advantage with Arsenal. Saka. It's with Erdegaard. And they stopped them in their tracks. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Jorginho. Arsenal have given it away. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. So they had attacking momentum, but not so. Well, good run and good ball control. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Now, perhaps they can counter from here. Sterling. Smart stop here. Very keen to get right in faces and force mistakes. What can Chelsea do from this position? Well, these Chelsea fans can sense a goal coming here. They really have increased the tempo, but they need to make the most of this dominant spell. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Martin Odegaard. Saka. And Havertz. It's with Odegaard. Intelligent threaded pass here. And the keeper more than equal to it. The outcome is a goal kick here. And the substitution will occur now. Fine work from Chelsea to win the ball back. 
Well, what an atmosphere we've got inside this stadium. These supporters are doing everything they can to get their team over the finish line. Giving it a try. Just couldn't get it through. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. a really good run oh it's in and that might be the goal that clinches it for them no looking back now surely well here we can see it again look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself and once he gets onto it he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique what an emphatic finish that is underway at 3-1 and so into the final five minutes Ben White pretty straightforward in the end just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter attack will it be sufficiently imaginative and space to cross it is it going to be? And the shot just over the top. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. Jorginho Saka he's going forward well here quite possibly a yellow card as the flow was stopped and that is going to mean a caution the referee is absolutely right he knew what he was doing there Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Well, as you can see from his reaction, his team have just lost their way here, and he's not happy, is he? And that is that. The referee brings this match to an end and Chelsea get the three points. What did you make of their performance as a whole? Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority and attached to it. Yeah, he had a good game today and, of course, took his penalty well. He had a big influence on the result.